10 Things Banned by the UCI in Professional Cycling Number 1. Non-compliant clothing during the podium. That's right, it's all about the lycra off the bike. It does fit really well and it looks real good, but wearing it away from the bike is a contentious topic. There's no time to wear anything else though as you'll be disqualified for not turning up on time, actually another UCI rule. Regardless it will keep those Gucci loafers safe from all that champagne. Number 2. Non-compliant rain jacket. An all-black rain jacket with no sponsors you say, how about, banned? If the sponsors can't see you, you can't see the sponsors. How are the race organizers supposed to know where to buy their flooring or shampoo in the rain if they are all covered up? Number 3. Spraying a rider with liquid from a vehicle. I'm hoping they were talking about water with this one and not any other egregious liquids that could be contained within a bottle. Number 4. Interviewing a rider during the race. You know when you get the feeling you've seen something like this somewhere before. <coughs> Number 5. Unseemly or inappropriate behavior. This one I get, but come on. When you've got to go you've got to go, eh Tom? Number 6. Recrossing the finish line in the direction of the race while still displaying body number or frame number. A common sense one, however there is a loophole in that removing your numbers and riding back through the finish line would technically be allowed under current UCI rules. Number 7. Changing a bike other than from team vehicles, neutral service or the broom wagon or outside authorized zones. I'm not sure many riders would have tried this one, particularly as this covers spectators' bikes. I can't imagine it would limit much time damage over simply waiting, unless of course the bike was of the motor variety, which would certainly have you banned. Number 8. Identification number replicated on a medium other than that provided by the organizer. This one is pretty interesting. Reading between the lines, it's not like they're suggesting riders might attempt to print numbers for an aerodynamic advantage, as a replacement, it's suggesting riders might replicate them as additions to the numbers supplied. I wonder how many riders have thought, you know what, I could use some additional numbers on me or my bike. Number 9. Deviation from the chosen line that obstructs or endangers another rider, pulling the jersey or saddle of another rider, intimidation or threat, blow from the head, knee, elbow, shoulder, hand, etc. Perhaps I'm just naive, I wouldn't have thought riders would need this explicitly written out, oh of course. Yanni. Number 10. Rider taking off mandatory helmet during the race. As much as we loved to see Marco Pantani's beautiful and bald head, it wasn't exactly very safe. So this one we're very glad to see implemented, even though a bald head is probably pretty aerodynamic. Anyone know the CDA of a bald head? What would you have banned or unbanned in professional cycling? Have your say in the comments. Thank you for watching, please like and subscribe for more.